To be able to use the new AOV system in Octane 2021, the first thing we need to do is to switch from the classic render passes to render AOV node graph. We also need to specify uh, a node to be used, and so let's create one. From the Octane Render AOV uh, environment, we can now click on Quick Add Node 3 and create a new node which is called AOVs. So now we can specify the node here. We can now add our buffers, our AOVs here, and we have four slots uh, ready to to be used but if we need more we can click on add input and add as many as we need there's no need to add a beauty or another beauty pass since they're already there even if now we're not using the denoiser so this is basically doing nothing uh, but what we can do is to start adding new passes so let's add a diffuse AOV pass, let's add a reflection maybe and also let's see depth. So now we added those three new passes. So now we're able to take a look at our passes directly in the preview. The Z-Depth needs, needs to be adjusted a little bit. But yeah, that's pretty nice. What's really great about this new uh, AOV feature is that we can add our custom AOVs. So let's see how it works. So let's say I need a mask of this object here. I can now uh, uh, use several methods to do that. The first could be using the material. Uh, I have just one material on this uh, object, so I could specify a custom AOV for the material, directly on the material. And of course I also need to add the um, the corresponding custom AOV. I've used the uh, ID 1, so I have added a custom AOV, uh, AOV here and with custom ID 1. And let's take a look at it. So I have a mask which is ready to be used. It's material based, but I can create an object based mask. And that can be done from the object properties, just specifying a custom AOV here. We will use custom AOV2. So now we also need to add this custom AOV2 here and specify 2. And now we have another mask for the second object. So now we have two different masks we can use for our compositing. Now there are other ways we can use to generate custom AOVs. One method consists in using the capture to custom AOV node. Using this node, for example, I can capture a noise texture mapped on the surface of an object, so let's try that. Okay, I'm going to increase the contrast and also add the transform node. So, yeah, something like that. So now uh, I also need to assign a custom ID. So let's go for. Let's go for custom AOV 10. And let's add a new one here, custom 10. 
So now it's in this list that we can take a look at it. So as you can see now, uh, we have generated uh, a buffer which only shows the noise texture we have applied to this object. We can also use the override texture input here. So this way, even if this texture is now not visible in the beauty pass, the corresponding AOV will be still captured. So, you know, we can use it and add it uh, just in our compositing pipeline. We can also create global texture based AOVs. So, still have, you know, two inputs available here. So, let's add a custom global texture AOV. So right now this is empty, so if we take a look at it, we got nothing. But even in this case, we can, for example, uh, like a falloff map, attach it to the texture input. And now we have a custom AOV that shows exactly the effects of the falloff map. We can also add a gradient, for example, here. So now we can control the map using a gradient. We can change the mode here. So, yeah, this is pretty powerful. And uh, it can be used to generate custom AOVs we can use in our compositing pipeline in both Octane for Blender in real time or any compositing software. So now if we make a render our AOVs will be generated so they can be used in, in a compositing software. So we have our Octane Beauty a diffuse, reflection, custom 1, custom 2, custom 10, our procedural texture, the depth, and also the global texture we are created using the fall off. Being able to create our own custom AOVs in real time. In the next upcoming videos uh, I'll show you how to take advantage of this and the new real-time compositing pipeline available in Octane 2021. Cheers!